Number 11. Closing. Paradise Park. When the Jews first came to the Freeport, it was written in the newspapers that Mastrand would eventually become a Jewish city. This did not really happen. And as early as 1789, the Jewish group on Mastrand gradually decreased in number. Some of the Jews left Sweden completely, while others moved to the three permitted cities of Stockholm, Gothenburg and Norrköping. The privileges of the Freeport were abolished on May the 15th, 1794. The American War of Independence, 1775 to 1783, and the peace in Paris had changed the economic situation, and thereafter life in the Freeport became increasingly difficult. By the end of the period, Privileges had gradually begun to decline. The cost of living had increased and smuggling had flourished. The island gained a reputation for being a haven for criminals. The Freeport had not lived up to the high expectations that the Crown had set. Mastrand was transformed back into a normal city, that is, a city with the right to conduct imports and exports. When the free port was closed down, the Jews' exceptional position on Mastrand was also removed. The proximity to Gothenburg meant that the majority established themselves there. During the 19th century, Gothenburg became a thriving trading place. The Jewish immigrants greatly contributed to the development of the city. Trade movements, industries and manufacturers were all established there. The families from Mastrand became leaders in Gothenburg's Jewish congregation and the integration was facilitated by the city's multicultural and politically liberal climate. Jewish life continued to develop. Although Mastrand never became a Jewish city, the island has a rich history of integration. The Jewish history at Mastran talks about both the opportunities and limitations for the Jews, about the relationships between minorities and the majority, and about different strategies for finding a place in a new society. A story that continued long after the Freeport was closed down. Eventually the Jews left Mastran and became part of what we call today Sweden. A Sweden that is more multifaceted and richer than many of us think. Mm -hmm.